I thought something would be really cool to run it through the streets of Champaign-Urbana. We had a goal in mind of, of getting three, maybe 4,000 runners, and you know, and in that first year we got over 9,000 runners, and so that really just made it all the better, just threw everything up and enlightened everything. After that first year, I had a, wow, we really have a chance to have something really special here. And that was like a lit match, just like started a little fire and a spark, and we've just kind of grown from there. Jam was very smart 10 years ago, uh, and Mike Lindemann too, they created a committee, a very strong base, and they sustained the course and built steadily, methodically, sequentially every single year, tying it in with the college as well, of course, and the energy and the ambiance that comes with the college. It's a perfect marriage. I don't think people understand the chaos behind the scenes that comes to look like a pretty smooth event. And it's really like, I, I, I was gonna say a handful, but obviously it's much more than a handful now of individuals, but of just truly dedicated people that, that make it what it is. Probably the thing that, that got me most interested in this was seeing the community change as soon as we started getting to, you know, close to actually having the event and seeing the number of people running really increase because of this event kind of lit the fire. So we volunteered every year. We've had a hydration station every year and we make it fun. We have a DJ come in and and we may everybody so everybody's dancing a little bit and everything. So we've we did it mainly to support the city of course and to support whatever we could with anything. We like to do that. Every year we say oh this might be our last year of doing it. And then it's, you know, we the day of the event, and then we're like, oh no, we're gonna be doing it next year. If you are going around town and you have on a volunteer t-shirt or something, people will ask you, oh, are you involved with a marathon? What do you do? And, you know, I'm just saying, hey, uh, we don't run, we don't do much, we just serve bagels. And we have a lot of fun doing it. Coming back year after year, you know, partly because I've seen it evolve. And I see what we have now, compared to what we had before. And we've made such great progress and strides in caring for the runners. I love how the entire Champaign and Urbana police departments, communities, the universities, the homeowners all get behind the race. You see it in the newspaper, on television, and it's really the hometown event and they really stand behind it and I love that. Uh, and I think that the event is run in such a way by people who care in such a way that it really is going to, 10 years from now, have earned a solid place in what it means to be from this community. Ready, set, go! Being able to go through this race and grow with them has been absolutely amazing. I know from running so many other marathons that they do a streak and that there are people that are recognized in other marathons that I've run that have run every one and I thought this is my opportunity to get on the inaugural race and run every one. And now every year when I leave here I look at the next year I circle the dates on the calendar and say okay that weekend has to stay clear. It's great because it's got everything you would need for, you'd expect from a big race without being huge. You know, it's just, it doesn't feel overwhelming. When I go north on First Street and all those people running along and the, and the road kind of slopes down and I looked out and I saw this mass of humanity, you know? I mean, just all these people and something inside. Whoa, you know? The crowd support, you actually have a lot of people that come out and and cheer. It's amazing to hear the spectators say, you can do this, you're at mile 26, you look good. People in their houses coming out and giving you a glass of water, whatever you need. It's that kind of environment where you're interacting, you're seeing the good side of people. When you get out there at a marathon, we're all one, we're all just running for a common goal. Let's help everybody do it. Let's get everybody to the finish line. I love the finish line. I mean, you, you, when you see the stadium, come into view, you know that you've got this licked. One of the things I noticed is that, you know, I, I, I like to describe it, it's really pleasant to live here. And this is a really pleasant marathon to run. <laughs> they always seem to take the feedback that they get and they make the race better every year. And that's what's, that's what's neat about this, this run and the, and the community that's out there. As long as the course is here and as long as I can keep running, I'm, I plan on being here every year.
as we have come to to know over these last 10 years. I mean, in an amazing community here that was very open and welcoming, and every year there's even more ownership and more love for this event, which has in many ways transformed our community. What the marathon has created is an infrastructure of all of these departments and agencies working together, and that has set a template for other events to be able to come here and know that we can host it. And seeing that happen just in the first year and the success of it from the first year on has been pretty amazing. It's been fun to watch it grow from uh, being in its infancy to now being a, a mature race that has a following and, and people have really grown accustomed to, to having this on their calendar and making this a part of their regular uh, race schedule and I think it's become a, a big part of the Champaign-Urbana community calendar as well. The community has gone from what's going on again on Saturday? Where can I drive? to hey let's get out and welcome people. Let's get out on our front lawns and cheer them on as they go by and that's what really makes a marathon happen. I think it'd be really cool to, to sit there and have those, I guess those legacy runners, you know, that first group of youth runners, those seven or eight year olds 10 years ago, bringing in their kids. Champaign-Urbana is really a great um, town to live in and it just really showcases who we are and what we're about. We're here in Champaign-Urbana, which is a, a medium-sized town, but that day we're as big as any city in the country. And it's just been a community effort and we certainly like to throw our chips all in. This event's gotten better and better after, you know, this is our 10th running and cheers to 10 more years and we hope that you know, it keeps growing and getting bigger and people will continue to not just do a 5K, but then do a 10K and keep growing themselves. And really, it's, it's really about that celebration once you cross the finish line and see everything that you accomplished. And it just continues to grow, I think in part, because of the excellent service that people receive, our, you know, Midwestern volunteers who are out there telling everybody how great they're doing, and the race directors and the owners really believe um, that this is something that can showcase our community. They realize it's bigger than them. You know, I don't know how you get better than this, but they'll find a way. Champaign-Urbana doesn't have mountains, they don't have a big lake to run around, we don't have, but we've got one of the best communities in the whole country. It's got, it's got legs and this, this race is going to keep on going because of the people.